consider this equation n factorial minus 7 plus 6 over n factorial equals 0. Then the goal is to find the value of n. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. So given this equation, the goal is to find the value of n, all possible values of n. Now, in this equation, n here is a non-negative integer. So, let's get the value of n. First, let's get our equation. And one technique that we use in this kind of question is when we see two expressions that is equal. So, what we're going to do is to replace this with another variable. And let's call this as a. So, let's call n factorial be equal to a. So all of this n factorial becomes a, like this. And now let's focus on this result. Now multiply all of this term by a, so we get a squared minus 7a plus 6 equals 0. And let's focus on this because this is a quadratic equation in terms of a. And we can factor this out easily because negative 7 is simply equivalent to negative 1 plus negative 6 and negative 1 times negative 6 is positive 6 so we can factor this out nicely as a minus 1 multiplied by a minus 6 and using the zero property at least one of them must be equal to zero so we can say that a minus 1 equals 0 or a minus 6 equals 0 on the first equation if we add 1 on both sides we get a equals 1 and on the second equation, if we add 6 on both sides, we get a equals 6. So we found two possible values for a, a equals 1 or a equals 6. But we don't care to the value of a, we want the value of n. Now we know n factorial simply equal to a. So we can replace this a with n factorial. So n factorial equals 6. Now take note, 6 is 3 times 2 times 1, or simply 3 factorial. So we can say that n equals 3. So here's the first value for n. Now how about if a equals 1? So n factorial is also equal to 1. And if n factorial equals 1, we have two possible values for n because 1 factorial is 1 and 0 factorial is also 1. Therefore, n can be 1 or 0. Therefore, we found three possible values for n. We have n equals 0, n equals 1, or n equals 3. But before we end this video, let's double check our answers. So if n equals 0, we have 0 equals 0. So n equals 0 is part of our solution. If n equals 1, we have also 0 equals 0. So n equals 1 is also part of our solution. And if n equals 3, we also have 0 equals 0. So n equals 3 is also part of our solution. Therefore, given this equation, then we have three possible values for n. n equals 0, or n equals 1, or n equals 3. And as always, we are done.